What's up guys, it's Vicious765 here and I got another tech and mystery for you guys. This one is just simply going to be titled, titled um, Dragonov. So, Sergei Dragonov, he's a character that was introduced in Tekken 5 DR. Um, I believe the original plan for him was him and Lily were both supposed to be new characters in Tekken 6 when Tekken 6 was originally conceived, but due to you know Namco trying to add new ideas constantly, um, they got added in Tekken 5 DR instead, and then we had like a different cast for new characters, which, you know, the other cast was fine by me. They could have left it at that. But anyway, it's my opinion, whatever. Um, when I look at Sergei Dragunov, I see a mystery. Like, he, there has been a story for him in every game, but he just doesn't talk. Oddly enough, apparently his hobby is singing, but, um, he's just... He's, like, if you look at his story for Tekken 5, like, he's supposed to be doing research for natural resources or whatever. Um, but the thing is, is, like, he's a military man, and it seems like he doesn't talk for, like, a reason. There's gotta be a reason he doesn't talk too much. Like, and he likes singing, like... Either he's just like a very just sinister person. I feel like that's the feeling I get from Dragon Love. I don't feel like he's a good guy. Like, we don't really know what his standpoint is, but it doesn't seem like Dragon Love is necessarily a good guy. But we don't know too much about this guy. Uh, we know he was defending Russia from the Mishima Zaibatsu in Tekken 6, and the uh, people he fights in Tekken Arena modes, Eddie and Nina, of course, but really, I think it would have been more fun to see Dragon Love you know, fight with Brian or, you know, fight with Raven, that would have been better. Um, that would have been better if they had, like, a cutscene together so we can tell that, you know, they talk, you know, that these guys, they have something that they talk about or, you know, at least one of them talks to Dragunov and Dragunov just shakes his head or just looks at him menacingly because Dragunov can do that really well. He's a very kind of, kind of scary person, you know? Um, one thing that has always been interesting to me in Dragonov's Tekken 5 ending, his Tekken 6 ending is stupid, his Tekken Tag 2 ending is hilarious, but his Tekken 5 ending, um, in his Tekken 5 ending, so he has double gen captured and he's transferring, like he's doing some wood, he pushes a button and he's all wired up inside this like, you know, Dragon Ball Z-esque little uh, water fucking jug. <laughs> um and he's it looks like some sort of like lightning some sort of energy is transferring to this other one that's like down across from the room apparently and all we see is red eyes now some people believe that this may be the entity known as devil that you know is possessing Jen. now uh, other people believe that you know this may be gigas um because gigas he's um He's a big dude, and he's hooked up to a bunch of wires, you know, and he fights Dragunov in his uh, Tekken 7 trailer. So, automatically, you know, I was thinking this, and a couple of other people were thinking this as well. But, you know, that's still all just speculation. But the question is, what exactly was he trying to do? Because if he was doing research on natural resources, was he trying to create a natural power source through using Devil? What was he trying to do? Also, another thing that's very interesting enough, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but the Mishima characters, they all have a lightning effect when they hit you. Um, Jin has it, Kazuya has it, Heihachi has it, Devil Kazuya, Devil Jin, Angel um, has it, which is another thing that I forgot to mention in the video, um, my Angel Mystery video. She has, she has lightning too. Now, that was because she was a palette swap for Devil, but she still has lightning. So, what is her excuse? What is the secret behind Angel? Um, anyway, um, Jinpachi has it, and Kazumi has it. Kazumi, I could kind of understand because, you know, she learned the Mishima fighting style. And, you know, she is a Mishima, technically, because she is Heiachi's wife. And Lars has lightning. So, where does that leave Sergei Dragunov? Sergei Dragunov, if you look closely at his effect... Um, his effect is like, um, kind of like a little, it's hard to describe the effects, but it's like a little blue burst and then there's lightning surrounding it. So 
one thing that I speculated because Dragunov is 27, I believe. I believe he's 27 years old. Um, or 28, maybe? I was thinking, you know what, maybe he could be Kazuya's son. Maybe another Mishima. Maybe he's some sort of descendant or something. That's the only thing that's been bugging me. That and his Tekken 5 ending. What is that in his Tekken 5 ending? Why is it not discussed at all in Tekken 6? And why is it? Why does he have lightning for an effect? I don't know how many people thought about this, but, you know, I, I see people have fire, you know. Um, Bruce is like a firework, like an ex, like a firework. Paul Phoenix is like a, a what's the word for suns when they explode? It's, it's like a supernova. Um, you know, there's just fire. People have fire. Um, and Miguel's, I forget what Miguel's is. Miguel's is like a flare. But the thing is, is you can have fire and you could just be anybody. You know, there's plenty of forms of fire that they do for the, like Michelle had fire. You know, Michelle and Julia, they're, they're, theirs was like a flame. It was like a campfire thing when you hit him, when you hit somebody with them. And, you know, it's just odd that Dragunov, out of all the people, you know, on the cast, he, he tends to be the only person to have lightning in his effect that is not a Mishima. So what do you guys think of that? Do you think that Dragunov could secretly be related to the Mishimas in some kind of way, some way or some form? Or... And what do you think about the ending for his Tekken 5 ending? What do you think that thing is? And do you think we'll see it in Tekken 7? Um, I just want to let you guys think about that. Let me know what you think. Um, and what was I about to say? Only Oh, yeah. Lee, Lee he, he wouldn't have um, the freaking lightning. I just thought about that. He, Lee wouldn't have the lightning because he doesn't do Mishima fighting style. And I believe he trained with Law and Paul that's why he had similar moves to both of them but anyway uh, I'm gonna leave this video where it's at and I will catch you guys later